That's Professor Quack's spy gadget vending machine. I bet some of those could be quite useful in solving this caper. A spy key replicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? That's a one-shot camera, like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake it in an oven. The picture shrinks down and hardens into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time, but you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't worry, it's a point and shoot easy bake gadget. It's a good thing I need my fiber. Spy heat. This looks like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now this gadget, I'm really proud of. You can spray it on something, say like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right before your eyes. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. You can say that again. All right. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. Hmm. Light on the palate, rough on the tummy. I bet these are cool. Spy skates, they look sharp, Professor Quack. How do they work? I've always loved the grace and beauty of figure skating. But being in the spy biz never left time for the years of training. So I created these. You simply slip them on and insert a diagram of the skate maneuver you want to perform. And voila, the skates with you in them perform it perfectly. Well, those could sure help to put the villains on ice. Ah, right. Spy box. I like these new blueberry flavored blueprints. I like roses. I throw one only to skaters who do a perfect double sour cow. I can gather information about the double sour cow ice skating move with this talk balloon. I sure hope that evil dog bot doesn't notice that hydrant anytime soon. I just took a shower. Would you say you specialized in Swedish or sports massage? I went to the old man that hurts school of massage. Old man that hurts? Why do they call it that? Because of this. Oh, man, that hurts.
After that, you should feel like a whole new person. What do you know about the double sour cow ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the double sour cow as the masked she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. How long have you been in the World's Fair souvenir business? Going on three years now. Could you like a souvenir of my three-year anniversary? They're real pretty. I think I'll just wait for the big five-year souvenir. Hey, now I'm ready for some ice action. This should do the trick. I was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. You did it, kid! I haven't seen a move like that since Sonya Henpeck! Thank you. What a perfect red rose. The door is locked. Hey, hands off those keys. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. What's the best part of this job? I don't know. I never give it much thought. Thinking hurts the brain, laddie. I think I understand. I wonder which key I should take a picture of. Key three. Hey, you! You cannot go in! The Wax Museum is not open yet! Would you believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on public access called Entering the Wax Museum? Yes, but you may not go in. And don't stand in front of that thermometer. I have to keep a close eye on it. What do you like to do in your spare time? Likes watching the hardening of gelatin. Dislikes when the temperature goes over 80 degrees. That's quite a thermometer. Yes, I have to keep a very keen eye on it. If it goes above 80 degrees, the wax figures will start to melt. Then I'll have to run to the phone to call the air conditioning repair place. They put me on hold for hours. It's terribly boring. I can't imagine. Just watch this spy heat the joint up with a demo of his spy heat. Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Oh no! I must call the air conditioning repair place! Oh dear, I'll be on hold for hours! That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket.
Ah, St. Joan of Bark. She made sure that every child in the world had access to ice cream. She became the patron saint of cold cows. Thomas Elephant, inventor of the mesh umbrella, light bulbs painted black, and shoes made out of bubblegum. Gum shoes. After playing in them all day, you could have a stinky snack. George Washington Cougar, an inventor who found 101 uses for gelatin. Gelatin sneakers, gelatin tires, and gelatin bricks. They don't last, but the inventions look cute when they wiggle. Bella Abug, who worked hard for Roach's rights. She worked hard for better housing for roaches who wanted to escape those deadly hotels. Bert Barracuda, a successful songwriter who wrote such pop standards as Do You Know the Way to Swim Upstream? And my personal favorite, What's It All About Algae? Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox, a chef outfit just might come in handy. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dog. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dinah, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. Oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder! You are too kind, too kind. Come into the kitchen with Dinah. Stir, stir, stir. Come into the kitchen with Dinah! Amazing! The key goes into the oven full size and comes out tiny, much like my Aunt Ethel's meatloaf. Come into the kitchen with Dinah! I'll leave my chef outfit here, just in case I need it later. Didn't anyone ever tell you that evil doesn't pay? Actually, it doesn't pay well, but it does have a great health plan, and you get stock options. It's back to jail for you, Spy Fox. And stop escaping. I have evil to do. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh, well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, the right key. Excellent. See, I told you I had a key. There you go, Walter. You've got to find Dotty Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Fox. This car is my ticket to the dream house. This is the only way to travel. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Well now, things are starting to look up.
The refrigerator is now in cold storage. This button opened that door. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Dottie Dash's location. And the $74 million question is, who invented the retractable TV? I can open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my socks? This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. You haven't beaten me yet, dresser. Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Eureka. Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in WeWorld, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on a fritz before I could get the whole message to you in SpyCorp, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. All right. Our evil nemesis. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to SpyFox right away. Of course. The activation code is Cherry Pineapple Orange. Got it. Walter Wireless calling SpyFox. Please stand by. Come in, SpyFox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the SpyWatch. Stay tuned. Cherry Pineapple Orange. I've got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, SpyFox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. This is Walter Wireless, signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it. I have waited in line for over 12 hours to ride the ride. Famous French pastries of the past. A cream field adventure. It was the highlight of the fair. He then refused to let me on because I was not tall enough to go to the turnstile. The turnstile. My brother, Dollar Kid, laughed at me. I thought that one day it would be I who would do the laughing. Ha ha ha! I am laughing. Ha ha! You see, it is I who is laughing. Yes. Very soon the evil dog will be fully wound. And without the off switch there, there will be no way for anyone to stop me from crushing all the turnstiles and conquering the world!